Hi there, it's Pete the Hipster King from the Hairy Game Lords and this evening we have been playing this. Skeetor Biathlon. It's got skis, it's got guns. What did we think of it? Hold on and we will tell you all about it. Bearded Lady here and I really enjoyed uh, this game. Really, really well, obviously, I'm going to talk about the artwork. I love the artwork on it. Um, so this is all prototype, but really, really good prototype. As far as prototypes go, this is nice. So these are your kind of your player board. Everybody has a different country represented. This is Norway's, um, and this area here is replacing the rolled dice. Uh, and then this area here is for your stamina. And then when you are in the shooting location, you put your shots on there. But I'm sure one of the other hairy game lords will fill you in in far more detail. But yes, really like the artwork. Just like all the little people on there doing different things. And throughout the course, there, there's lots of different things to look out for. So, for instance, on this one here, this is the um, uphill slope. And so if you start your go on this, you have to discard one of your dice. Uh, so that will count against you, really. But love on this little tree here there's a meeple in it with a nest and in the nest are some baby meeples brilliant one's breaking out of an egg love it uh what else have we got we have got uh so just uh there's there's one of the there's the finish line look at all the ace people on there love that and this game also features some hairy game lords so we have uh a sasquatch here cheering on people those hairy game lords like to cheer on. And Dave the Grey has got his own uh, his own hairy game lord going on here. So this is the Sasquatch for all of us without Grey. Oh, look, he's naked. <laughs> and here's the Dave the Grey one. Can you see it? The Yeti. There he is. Just, just there. Marvellous. So yeah, loved it. Loved the artwork. Uh, loved the feel of the game. Hey, I came last, but I still liked it. It was a good game. Um... Uh, yeah, it's 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 a roll and um, and whatever. What's it called? Roll and draft. Roll and draft. Is it roll and go? Uh, but there's more to it than that, um, which s somebody else will explain. But yeah, really enjoyed the game. Love the artwork. Certainly, when it comes out on Kickstarter, back it. Hi, David Gray here. Uh, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed skiing around and coming second to last. Uh, Andrew took the honours of uh, <laughs> following up uh, right at the back, but yeah, I didn't do so well. Uh, I really enjoyed it. To be honest, I wasn't sure about it at the start because it looked like just a uh, roll and move like we were back in the 80s or something. But there is a lot more to it than that because you're rolling your dice, but you're then drafting those into your player board. And it gives you a lot of tactics and options um, that you wouldn't have otherwise. So yeah, tactically, it is actually really interesting. Uh, the other thing that sold me on it, to be honest, is if you've watched our other videos, and if you haven't, watch them, subscribe. Uh, I like models, and I like interesting meeples. I get very bored of just like the plain little men, but this one has got little skiing meeples. How good, just get it for the skiing meeples, to be honest with you, uh, I'm sold. And although this is a prototype you've also got some really nice little wooden hearts for your endurance as well which you can spend to do all the extra cool stuff so yeah this may really surprise you it surprised me i really enjoyed it and a lot of fun half an hour 40 minutes and it was a blast um give it a try it's on kickstarter now so get backing Hello, Slightly Bearded James here, and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about rolling your dice. Uh, some players might be put off by um, dice, but actually in this game there's a really good strategic offset for that. If you use your noggins, you will come out well against chance. So How when you roll the dice... How you to do so well, Jim? I know. I'm actually much smarter than I look. <laughs> and sound. And sound. And sound. Um, so you roll your dice and then at the bottom there you got one, two, three, four, I can count. And uh, you place those numbers on there. If you've got a five, then you place it on a higher stack. Dave is in disbelief. Sixes can extend your really, really long stack. So for example, if I got a load of ones and a five there, then a six there would top it off to make five dice. 
That's right, Captain Matt's on the go. Over here, you've got a couple of slots for sprinting. Sprinting's great if you want to leave Dave behind. And um, when you spend your dice to move, <laughs> poor Dave, when you use your, your dice to move. So for example, if I imagine spending my five dice, then I'd be able to go five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if Dave was behind me, imagine he was right behind me, he'd be able to draft and he'd end up still behind me for free because he's cunning like that. Although if I use my sprint, I can leave him in the snowy dust. Um, now, I mentioned about using nuggins. If you want to, you can spend your stamina to use other um, columns of dice at the same time, which means you can really push the boundaries but you pay for it when it comes to um, things like shooting. So Pete is going to tell you a bit more about that. We've told you how to move. You're moving down the racetrack. You're going as fast as you can. You get to this point and you'll notice there you've got the little uh, sight. You land on the sight in the shooting range and then you get to take your shots. You have to shoot five separate times um, if you have got a full stack obviously you can use that to take your <laughs> five shots you could use you could expend stamina to get up to five shots and do that all in one go but you can spread your shots that go across more than one turn so what do you do when you're shooting it depends on what stamina you've got so in the for this shot if you have used up one of your stamina and on red, you have to use the red dice. Now, the red dice has got fewer successful hits. The green dice is almost all successful hits. There's only one miss on the green dice. If you get down to blue, though, you have only got two successful hits. The rest are misses. So you make your decisions. You use your stamina up to get further on in the race, but when you get to the shooting range... You can be hit nastily and because what will happen is for every for every couple of misses you get you will have to take a loop around the penalty track let's go backwards so that will use up <laughs> thank you for that three three dice turns already straight away on your next go going around that once if you've missed once or twice if you miss three or four times you've got to go twice if you miss all five shots you have three turns around the penalty track so it really can that balance between using your stamina up early to get ahead in the race but then it can come back and bite you when you get to the shooting range which does allow for some mitigation of some of the look of the rolls of the dice there is some other thing there are some other great little bits in this game underneath you will notice on your player board, you'll have probably been wondering, what's that jimpy edge for? That doesn't look any good. The reason there is a jimpy edge on there is because you have got these little wax tokens. And basically you've got... <laughs> what, jimpy edge? Jimpy edge is a word. Jimpy? Jimpy. I thought you said jippy. No, jimpy. You have, he says, trying to count. You have got six wax tokens. At the start of the game, you decide the order that you place them in. That is really, that in itself is a little bit of um, tactical play because you've got to work out when in the race do I think I might need to use these bonuses. And each team, each sort of the, each region has got a different set of abilities. So there's a little bit of asymmetry in terms of the bonuses you can use. So for example, this uh, this one here, he says, moving it into shot, that one allows you to, for free, you don't need to use your stamina, you can take an extra column of dice. Might want to save that to the end because it gives you a nice little burst of speed at the end. Um, this one allows you to take, oh, I can't do this, I can't work backwards. This one allows you to take two additional dice. So that gives you two free moves. If you're worried about shooting, that one allows you to have a free re-roll of your shooting dice. I kept two of those towards the end, which was really vital because when I get to my shooting, I had used up a lot of my stamina, so the re-rolls became more important. But the way you use your wax, you can only take the outside two edges. So you've got to work out which order am I going to place them in and when am I going to use them to be able to have the ones I need when I want them. So there's plenty of little bits of strategy in this game that make it far more of a game I was you know when I unpacked it I wasn't sure what to think about it then we got play and I was really pleased we got a chance to play this we've really enjoyed playing Ski Tour by Athlon it's out on Kickstarter today the 12th of November make sure you go and take a look and give it a back <laughs> Ski Tour by Athlon what did we think liked it yeah. liked yeah, it yeah. a lot <laughs> back it now go and check out the Kickstarter <laughs>
Look at look at Pete. He's tiny in my glasses. Oh wow! That is <laughs> oh, he is tiny. <laughs> tiny you can Pete. See, you can shoot far away. <laughs> Back it. Enjoy it. <laughs> Skiing and shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>